I got a great question from a viewer. Let's talk about that question. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Hamshack TV. I'm your host, Josh, AA4WX. Appreciate you joining me here. I got a great question from a viewer uh, named David, KC8ULK. He asked on the video about the bra the breaking news to Dayton Hamvention and now uh, attendance being released. He asked, hey, Josh, the new rules of the FCC on Chinese, what does it mean? And if you have one of those radios they mentioned, what does it mean? Uh, a little bit broken here as far as the uh, the language goes in there, but let's uh, let's talk about. It. I did a little research on this, and here here's what I have found out. Uh, on May twenty second, twenty twenty five, the FCC made a big move banning Chinese testing labs tied to companies they say are national security risks. That means those labs can no longer certify electronics, including ham gear, for sale in the United States. We're talking about major names here. Huawei, ZTE, Hikvision, Dahua, and Hytera. You've probably heard of at least one of these. I know Huawei. I'm probably sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. Uh, them, ZTE, uh, they both make cell phones. I've seen a bunch of those in Hytera. Uh, we do see Hytera radios around, so I'm sure you've heard of at least one of them. Uh, these companies are on what's called the covered list. And the FCC is saying no more new authorizations for them, period. So, if you've got one of these inexpensive handhelds from Amazon or AliExpress, like certain models of Baofeng, Quaxing, and Hytera, you're probably wondering if you're in trouble. Here's the bottom line. If you own one of these radios, you're not being forced to trash it. Yet. The FCC isn't going door-to-door -door confiscating equipment. But that could change. The FCC has hinted that they might revoke previously granted equipment authorizations in the future. That means radios that were once legal to use might not be legal anymore. And if that happens, using them could get you in hot water. My advice, know what you own. If your radio is from a questionable source or uncertain manufacturer, it might be time to consider upgrading. Brands like Yesu, Icom, and Kenwood, they're all solid bets and FCC approved. Ham Radio is all about staying connected and playing by the rules. So don't get caught with gear that could soon be blacklisted. If you've got other questions about your gear, drop a comment uh, or hop into the Discord server. You can find the Discord server link down in the description. Uh, also, if you do need to upgrade your radio, uh, you can go check out my Amazon link. The link's down in the description as well. Uh, anything you purchase after using that Amazon link will go to uh, support Hamshack TV, and we certainly appreciate that. So, guys, more content uh, soon to come. I do want to send a special thanks to some uh, channel members that are scrolling down at the bottom of your screen. We appreciate their support of Hamshack TV. Soul Studios, KO4DDG is on the technician tier. So is Berwin Rogers. We appreciate both of those. And Jason Lockwood, he's on the extra class tier. The I just use those for names of tiers, guys. That doesn't mean that's the, the actual uh, particular uh, license class they've got. So, guys, uh, more content to come. Uh, we're still kind of unpacking and, and stuff from... Uh, from uh, Dayton. Uh, we will start focusing on field day. Field day is coming up uh, towards the end of June. We also have a stop on the Ham Shack TV Ham Fest Tour field by Ham Radio Prep and World Radio League. Before then, the Knoxville Ham Fest in Knoxville, Tennessee. We'll talk more about that in the future. Guys, we'll see you in the next video. 73's AA4WX WSCB 693.